All right, everyone, welcome to Anchor Point Passions. I'm Sarah Sherman, and today I'm going to be reviewing different popular TV shows and movies that have archery in them. So I am a nationally ranked archer, both in USA archery and in collegiate archery, which now for my college is also USA archery. So. Uh, so I will be reviewing different movies and TV shows that have archery in them and um, we will see if these actors and slash characters are shooting archery correctly or what they're doing, what makes the scene awesome. Let's get to it. So the first scene that I have here is Merida from Brave and this is the scene where she is riding her horse through the forest and practicing archery. Let's watch it. So you can see that she is riding on a horse and shooting her bow at the same time, which I am like, I am wildly jealous of. I have always wanted to, I've always wanted to shoot my bow while riding a horse. I think that skill is absolutely amazing for anyone who does this already. And she's actually shooting this bear bow. So she has no sights at all. She's um, probably using the point of her arrow. So you can tell that she's anchoring at her cheek so she can look down the arrow and use that point as a reference um, on the very end of the arrow so she can actually aim and hit those targets while she's moving. But the, the moving horse gives it a whole new dimension because now she also has to calculate how fast she's moving and she probably has to aim a little ahead so that whenever the arrow goes off, it'll just meet the target right when she gets to it. So that's a really cool skill, um, much appreciation. <laughs> The next uh, scene that I'm going to be looking at is the scene from Once Upon a Time. This scene is when Prince Charming is actually saving Snow White and he's using a bow and arrow to do that. So let's go look at that. Right there when he shoots his arrow, this is what I think is interesting. Um, so first off, if you're shooting through the woods at that distance, you're probably going to hit a tree. I mean, <laughs> that is a very long distance. That is movie magic right there at its finest because unless he has like a really straight shot path that he can see, um, then like props to him. The other thing I wanted to point out in this scene is where he's anchoring on his bow. You can see that he's anchoring like, like this and like I said with Merida, normally for a bear bow, you would anchor up at your cheek so that you can look down the arrow. Now that he's anchoring below his cheek, now he really has nothing to aim on because the arrow's not lined up with his eye. And he also just lets the string go. And you really don't want to do that in archery, just let the string go because, um, it's not a strong shot as in any form of archery compound recurve bare bow whatever whatever you shoot you always want to expand your shot so you kind of especially for this so for bare bow you would want to have that explosion so your hands coming around your head uh it's a much stronger shot you use your back to pull that arrow and your hand will automatically come around your head. So the next scene that we are going to be looking at is from The Arrow. This is also a TV show about a guy who wants to correct the wrongs of his city by using his bow and being like a, a superhero at night while he is a millionaire playboy in the daytime, which is just kind of like his facade. So let's watch this scene. He has his bow and he shoots shooting really fast, um, which of course he's also using that bare bow recurve and he, yeah, he doesn't have any sights on his bow whatsoever. I really honestly like a lot of um, the scenes with archery in the arrow because I believe the actor Stephen Amell, um, who plays the arrow, I believe he actually shoots archery just before he got on the show. Um, so you can tell that his form is absolutely spot on. 
I give him a lot of props for this because he's shooting at tennis balls. So he has to, and this is why having um, a back quiver for recurve archery is so hard because because he is a right hand shooter, which means that he has to take that arrow out of his quiver and put it on, and he has to cross his bow and put that arrow on the other side of his bow so that he can draw back and then shoot the arrow. So he has to take that, go around his bow and then hook it onto the string real fast, draw and shoot. And so that's, that's a crazy skill. All right, so finally for our last clip of today, we have Susan Pevensey from The Chronicles of Narnia, and this is actually from the Prince Caspian movie. Um, so if you haven't watched this, I highly recommend just all of The Chronicles of Narnia. Um, but Susan Pevensey has a bow that when she shoots it, her arrows will like automatically go to the target. Like no matter what she does, they will just, that will go to her target. Let's see, let's watch this. This is a really cool scene. <laughs> so the thing here that I've noticed is that when she draws her bow back, also using recurve form, not bare bow form, since her hand is down here on her chin, she's trying to move her head down because her hand's not in the right position so she can try and shoot archery so she can try and aim, which is making her into a more of a weaker position than um, she, she would if she were just standing up straight and tall um, with the correct form. This will put her at a disadvantage because now she's out of line. Um, you always want the arrow to be in line, right in line with your shoulders all the way back to your elbow. And when you're squished down like this, now everything starts to get out of line. So that wouldn't be a strong shot. But then again, you, do, you don't really have to think about these things when your arrow automatically goes to its target. All right, so these are the four movies slash TV shows that I have reviewed today with archery. I hope you really liked them. Next Thursday, I'm planning on doing another one of these videos if you guys really like it. Um, put in the comments what you would like to see, what some of your favorite archery movies or TV shows you would like for me to review. I have a couple ideas, but I also want to see what you guys like because this is all for you. Um, if you guys don't enjoy it, then there's really no point to the videos. So if you guys really like this video, please click that like button. If you want to see more of my videos and be part of this awesome community of archers, beginners, professionals, amateurs, and anyone who loves archery, click that subscribe button. And if you want to know exactly when my videos come out, please click that bell right next to the subscribe and you will get those notifications. Other than that, I will see you in the next video and hopefully next Thursday for our next review video. See ya.